Father, we gather together here, Father, to honor you. Lord, we thank you as we gather together for your faithfulness in Gary and Kristen's life. Lord, I thank you for the family and friends that are gathered together here as well. And Lord, that as we gather together, that our thoughts and the words and the vows of Gary and Kristen would honor you. Lord, we gather here for you, and we pray these things in your name. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God, in the presence of family and friends, to join together Gary and Kristen in holy matrimony. The bond of marriage was established by God at creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ himself blessed this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. This bond signifies to us the union between Christ and his church, and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, deliberately, and in the fear of God. And to this holy estate, these two persons come now to be joined. Gary and Kristen, I require and charge you both, as you stand in the presence of God, before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed, that having considered the holy covenant you are about to make, you do now declare your pledge of faithfulness each to the other. Be well assured that as you commit yourselves to fulfill these vows and to do the will of your heavenly Father, God will bless your marriage. He will give you fulfillment in it and he will establish your home in peace. Gary, will you have Kristen to be your wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her so long as you both show it? Well. Kristen, will you have Gary to be your husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him, so long as you both show it? Gary, who presents Kristen to be married to, to Gary? Her brother and I. Hi, Gary, take you next step. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are separated by death. Until we are separated by death. To you, I promise to be faithful. To you, I promise to be faithful. I, Kristen, take you, Gary. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. <laughs> for better, for worse. <laughs> for richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. To you, I promise to be faithful. To you, I promise to be faithful. The wedding ring is the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace signifying to all the uniting of Gary and Kristen in holy matrimony through the church of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us pray. Father, bless the giving of these rings, that as Gary and Kristen wear them, they may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Kristen, I give you this ring. Kristen, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. With all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gary, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It's an honor to stand here with you because I know your relationship is built first on your love for Christ and second on your love for one another. I, I love that you guys grew up a mile apart, but it took a mission trip to Guatemala to meet for the first time. This is love. Not that we love God, but He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. This passage reminds us the two of you are loved by God. The love of God for both of you should be the beginning of your motivation to love one another. Because the love of God is never failing, your motivation to love one another should remain constant as well. Your marriage is a reflection of God's love 
for us. Jesus said it this way. He said, love one another as I have loved you. Mary and Kristen, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn, turn his face towards you. my privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Gary and Kristen Finema. Gary and I have known each other for a very long time. We were in Boy Scouts, we've been in the same small group forever. He's been with me, he's my brother. He really, he really is like the closest thing I have to a brother. You guys have made the commitment to talk every single night. I thought it was the coolest thing because you guys love each other so much that you would call each other, you'd make time every night no matter what. And what's cool is you guys met on, with Christ on a mission trip. I love you guys both so much, and I'm so happy for the two of you. It's been great to watch you two grow and have this wonderful love story of it. I love you guys. Cheers. I couldn't be more excited for you two or ask for a better guy for Kristen to marry and be bringing into the family. And just, I'm so excited to see what all God has in store for you all over the next few years. And I thought it would be most appropriate to end this toast in the way that Kristen ended her toast at my wedding. And that is by saying, I love you and have lots of babies soon.
Father, thank you for Gary and Kristen. God, thank you for your faithfulness in their lives leading up to this moment. God, that we can trust your faithfulness in their life joined together. Lord, we thank you that their relationship and their love for one another starts with your love for them. And God, thank you that we've heard these words from those that know them best, speaking about what an example they are of a godly relationship. God, I pray that you would continue to grow them, Father, that they would help one another become more Christ-like. But Father, as they do so, that they would have an influence on those around them as well. Lord, we thank you for the marriage covenant. Father, for a covenant that's so strong that you use it to reflect your love for the church. God, I pray that we'd be reminded of your love for us. We pray these things in your name.